Hi everybody, this is Mindy and thank you for stopping by my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be working with some products where we're going to add gold to our cards. Now there are numerous ways to do that. I'm just going to look at a couple of the ways. So I'm going to be starting off my cards with this stencil from Tailored Expressions. This is the beautiful Mosaic Leaves stencil. And the first thing I want to do is spray the back of that with some pixie spray. This is uh, just a tacky adhesive. You spray it, let it dry for about a minute. I usually pat my hand on the back of it or on it and then attach that to your card base, which in my case, I'm using Sugar Cube cardstock from Tailored Expressions. Now, one of the great things about that Pixie Spray is it is going to hold all of those intricate areas on the cardstock for me. I still hold the corners down with some washi tape, but the Pixie Spray really holds this down in the middle for me. So I'm going to be doing the ink blending as you see. I am using Sweet Basil, Toffee, Sweet Potato Pie, and uh, Dijon. Sorry, that was the yellow. <laughs> So I'm just randomly blending those onto the cardstock. These are some great, great fall colors and they worked very well together. The nice thing with working with fall colors is you don't have to think about if they make mud or not because mud actually works for fall colors. So if your two colors make brown, great works for the background. So once I removed that stencil, I'm going back over those areas very lightly just so that the white isn't so harsh. I wanted this to be kind of a softer fall card as far as the background goes. So I'm just real lightly blending back over those lines. Once this background, background is done, I'm gonna set that off on the side and work on one more. So this is also the Sugar Cube cardstock from Tailored Expressions. And this one is going to look like a total disaster, but bear with me, it will get better. I used the exact same colors that I did on the first card and actually almost in the same order. And you can see, I really am not worried about how well it's blending together. All of those imperfections we're gonna be able to hide uh, with some of the product that I'll be adding on top of this. So just adding in those fall colors, not really worrying about the blending. And I did go back over some of the colors. The brown really was darker than most of it. So I came back in with that sweet basil uh, just to kind of even that out, kind of make sure there's balance. Next, this is uh, one of the first ways we're going to add gold to our cards. And this is using the Gina K Designs Glitz Glitter Gel. Uh, I actually was going to use my tonic glimmer paste in gold, but it dried out and I had to throw it away. So I have the Glitz Glitter Gel from Gina. And actually, this is better anyway, because it is so glitzy, so gold. It's beautiful for this card. So I'm just taking a spatula, scooping that out, starting from the top, dragging that down over my stencil. The stencil I had just wiped off the color, it was still tacky on the back, so I could reuse that. And then just kind of smoothing that out, dragging some down. Now I am bringing out, I can't remember what it's called, but this is big product from Thermo Web. And I'm just gonna start at the top, and drag that all the way down. That is going to really even this out over the stencil. I'm not gonna have any lines dragging across my card. And then I can carefully peel back that stencil and this is just gorgeous. Now you can see, because we added that Glitz Glitter Gel on top, we are not seeing any of the harsh lines or worrying about how that blending was underneath. It all works out perfectly with the Glitz Glitter Gel on top. So I'll set that off on the side to dry. Next, we'll work on our sentiment. So I'm using the Simple Strips uh, Friendship Sentiment. And this is a very popular. These are awesome for if you're really looking to make mass produced cards. We're gonna be able to get all of these sentiments cut out in one shot and then you can save them for later. So I am using my Misty tool to do this. You want to make sure you remove that foam insert because this is a foam mounted stamp. I am going to be using chocolate truffle cardstock and that is the die that we're going to be using. Now you can notice that there are little squares on that stamp. We want to make sure that we stamp those. That is what's going to help us align all of these sentiments out. So I'm just prepping the cardstock with an anti-static powder just so that my embossing powder only sticks where I want it to. And then I'm inking that up 
with some Gina K Designs embossing ink. Then I'm going to just swing the door of my Misty over, stamp that down onto my chocolate truffle cardstock, and I actually do this twice just to make sure that I really have all that inked up. I really want these to stand out and make sure that I didn't miss, miss anything, and that is the beauty of having a Misty tool to do this or some other stamping platform that you may have. So once I have that stamped down really well, I am going to sprinkle on some Tailored Expressions gold embossing powder. Just shake off the excess, make sure that all of that sticky ink is covered in the embossing powder. And then once my heat tool is nice and hot, I'm going to bring that over and this gold really pops off of this brown cardstock. Then I take a Swiffer cloth and I'm just wiping off any excess powder from that anti-static powder that I had used. And we are going to take this die and we're going to line up those squares. We're not actually going to use them. That is just our guide. So we can cut all of these sentiments out in one shot. And you could go through and do these for you know, a rainbow of colors and just have these handy. If you want to sit and make some cards someday, you can just grab a sentiment out of a bag. So these are super awesome and such a great idea. So I'm going to hold that down with some washi tape, run that through my die cut machine, then just popping out all of those sentiments. They cut out great, everything lined up. And I just really love how that gold stands out against that chocolate truffle cardstock. It was such a great match. Now we're going to work on another way to add gold to your cards. This is the Hero Arts Glimmer Metallic Ink and Gold. I've really been liking using this. This is such a nice, vibrant gold to add to your backgrounds. And when you see it, it's kind of thick. It does come in a dropper format. So I'm just taking a couple drops, adding that down to my craft sheet. And I have another little bottle here with a dropper that has some just clean water, adding a couple of drops there off on the side. And then I'll take a paintbrush and just mix those two together. I start off by tapping my brush just so the ink falls on the card, but I really go to my go-to, which is flicking it off an acrylic block. That's just what I'm used to, and I really like how the drops fall on the card. So I'll just go all the way around the card doing that, and I'll hold that up here, and you'll be able to see it has these beautiful gold speckles all over that background. Definitely great for fall cards, fall or Thanksgiving, even just to send a thank you or to say a hi. So I'm going to set that off on the side to dry for a little while. And my Glitz Glitter Gel is nice and dry. So here is a look at those backgrounds I created. All of that beautiful, beautiful sparkle. I did trim these down to four by five and a quarter. I'm going to be adding them to a card base that is made from the Buttercream Frosting cardstock, which is also from Tailored Expressions. The card base is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch size card size so a2 size card base and I did go ahead and kind of figure out what I was going to be using so this is a heart that I die cut from the gold card stock I think it's a gold foil card stock I'll have everything linked down below but Taylor does carry it so I die cut the heart I'm going to work on that card first now I wanted to add just a little bit of dimension to my cards so I am taking just some craft foam and I'm going to add double-sided adhesive to the front and back of that craft foam. This is just going to provide a really nice even coverage for my uh, front card panel. Then once I remove that backing, I'm going to attach it to that uh, ink blended card panel. And then I can go ahead and add that to my buttercream frosting card base. So that's just giving it a little bit of an off-white edge to it. And I thought that just worked really well with the fall color scheme that I had going on. So with the gold heart, I'm just adding some foam squares to that to pop that up just a little bit. I'll attach that to the center of this card panel. And these are foam squares from Gina K Designs. They're a really nice height. They're not real thick. Uh, and there's tons of them on this roll. So I, I've had this box for a while and I use them all the time. So once I have that done, I'm going to add the sentiment and I'm only going to add foam squares to the very edge. 
That way I can just add tape runner to the middle and it'll all be really nice and even on all the sides. So little bits there on the edges and a little bit of tape runner in the middle. Then to finish off the card, I decided to add just a little bit more sparkle to it. So I'll just come in afterwards and add a couple drops with the Nouveau drops and then I'll set that off on the side to dry for a little while. And then I will work on the card with the Glitz Glitter Gel. And for that card, I did everything the same. So I did go ahead and do that off screen. I had craft foam behind it onto that buttercream frosting cardstock. And I decided on three sentiments that I really liked. And I'm just going to add those to the front of the card using some Lawn Fawn liquid glue. I'm using my tweezers just to help keep my fingers out of the way and I can make sure that it's straight. And I'm also kind of eyeballing with the grid lines on my mat underneath there. So I'm just holding that down for a couple seconds, making sure that that uh, does hold really well to that textured background, which it does. The sticks, sticks really well to that. And that will finish off my card. So here is a quick close up again of all that beautiful glitz, all that gold, perfect for your fall cards. And then one more look at the other card that I had created, which I stuck my finger into those Nouveau drops. So I had to redo that. <laughs> So that is taking a look at just some of the ways you can add gold to your fall cards. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and would like to see more videos from me. All the supplies will be listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well. Thanks again for stopping by. I'll see you next time.